Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lachlan here, back with a brand new episode of the Pixelmon Gotta Catch Em All series with some sad news. So, guys, I accidentally, I was just about to record some Pixelmon and I accidentally, um, as you can tell, these shelving units don't look alright. I accidentally loaded the world in a 1.7.10 uh, Minecraft without Forge and it messed up a lot of the world. Um, for the most part of the last hour, I've tried to actually get this running. I've tried to spawn in back my items because all of my Pixelmon items were deleted. Some of them were just going to let go. I've only in, like respawned the important ones like the Magmarizer and the Protector, which are really important to what we need them for. But for the most part, everything has been deleted. I'm very QQ, but we still have our Pokemon. And the weird thing was, is that all the items on the ground, they stayed fine. Like, look, all the apricorns, fine. All of these, fine. But everything on my chest is gone. And these as well, look, th th these were all gone. Like, I spawned in and these were gone, and now they're back. It's really, really weird how that worked. Um, and the biggest unfortunate news is that, that with, like, the mods clashing and stuff, it sort of got rid of all of our employees. Um, so, there's been a little bit of a uh, change up to the shop because they all despawned, but they didn't despawn, guys. That, that was a cheeky lampant. They didn't despawn. That is the smallest Kadabra I've ever seen, but they resigned. And as you can see, um, Mitch, Ger Mitch, Jerome, and Preston are having fun being Jags. Rob's off to get a real job, and they just said this place sucks. So I just said, you know what, I'll employ someone else, and his name is how I was feeling right now when I logged into the world and realized that everything was gone. I was just done. I was so done. And uh, that is, this is what we have there. But yeah, we sort of did it for the vine, guys. We sort of did it for the vine. Um, we just have the important things in the shop that I quickly ripped, um, whipped up together, which is the ability to sell minerals at two... Um, just, just the diamonds for now, be able to buy stakes, be able to buy master balls, and the last trade item, I think, I don't think I'm missing one, if I am, tell me, um, that we don't already have, which is the King's Rock, um, that is the last trading item that we need, I believe, so, they're the only ones I have in the shop right now, if I've missed anything important, please let me know, um, I do have most of the important items, the Lucky Eggs, the XP shares, I don't know, I have double the XP shares, I shouldn't have that many, but, uh, of course, we have our little Ender Chest store, restocked, but, uh, yeah, guys, sorry for the unfortunate news to start this episode off. It was very, very annoying for me to just walk in here and just go, oh, it was the biggest facepalm ever. I just went, oh, no, and just, I didn't even facepalm my face desk. Like, I was just like, no, why me? But, uh, anyways, guys, welcome back. So, what we're going to do today is we are going to, um... Now, we're going to either try to get some orb charges up on the static souls, which we sort of have to restart. We didn't even get that far into it last episode anyway, because last episode we got a cheeky little Magby who got him finally. Um, and we also got the elusive Articuno with only one bird remaining, which means it's time to do either some training up, which we're probably going to do on La Vesta and Trap Inch, or where is my... Where is he? My little... Uh, where? Where is... Where is, uh, the thing? The, 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 the dude with Lucario. Where is he at? I haven't seen him. Did I swap him in somewhere? Don't tell me he's despawned. I'll be salty. Very, 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 very salty if he's gone somewhere. He's got to be in here somewhere. Where is he? Come on, baby. Where are you? There's a shiny magic cup. That's not what we want. That's... Oh, there... What are you doing in box two, buddy? Jeez, you're scaring me. All right, now that he's out, um, oh, we're really drowsy. We're going to do this right now. You hit me when I'm down, I tell you right now. Oh, please don't tell me bat battles are glitched. Like, really right now. Like, are we just going to do this, okay? Because I'm not in the mood for this stuff right now. So I'm going to be back in a second, guys. Hopefully, when drowsy doesn't want to be a big jag, back in a second. Okay, okay, guys, we are back. I do know what the issue was with that one. It seems that uh, when I went into vanilla and then back, the hold items on the Pokemon were the biggest killer. And uh, because Re uh, Riolu, Re Riolu, oh, I probably Riolu, I don't even know if I'm saying it right anymore. I'm just going with Riolu. <laughs> um, had that hold item of the Soothe Bell, which I have to reapply right now. Um, because he had that on, I had to go into creative mode, take it off, then put it on it. Because otherwise, if I press inventory or went into a battle, it would crash. But now we're A-OK -okay to set forth on our adventure 
once again. So yeah, guys, like I said, we're either going to try and go for some uh, starter spawns that we're still missing out on, which is Mudkip or the Torchic. I think are one of the last two ones, of course. I think, no, we have to pig. I think we have to pig. We might be missing to pig. I got to try and find out where he spawns as well. But uh, certainly on our way, we might also head off in the direction of the biome. I just realized we don't have any flying Pokemon. That's awkward. All right, let's go back and put... Um, let's see here. I'm just trying to think what we want to do this episode. I'm going to... You know what? We'll put Riol... Uh, we'll put Riolu away for now. Um, we don't really need to get him up to a Lucario just yet, so we'll leave him. But I think we might get uh, Shiny Vibrava today at least. Something shiny to brighten up uh, our little woes because... I tell you what, it's been a little depressing today. I've just tried to come on, record a pixel mod, and that happens to me, and it's just like, no. Like, oh, my face was just so sad. Ugh, it was the worst. But we got everything working, we got everything we needed, so that's all that matters. But if I am missing anything crucial, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, and uh, hopefully we can get everything fixed. But how much I would love for just a mudkip to just cheer me up. Just a mudkip spawn right in, right here, right now. And that would, that's all I need, you know? That's all I need. And it's funny, we got Savannah and uh, Swampland right here. So we can chance both a Torchic set line and, is that a Joltic? I thought it was a Joltic because I don't know if I have a Joltic. No, I think we do have a Joltic. I think we do. Um, but what's the bet? I'll find a Swampert or a uh, Marsh Tomp because they're not the ones I need. I need the little Mudkip. I don't need any of those other Jags, just the Mudkip. Um, and then we'll put a lucky egg on this bad boy as well. Um, let me just put that one there. Because if you guys didn't know, you can actually apply hold items by throwing it on him. And then just like that. Nice little cheeky way of doing it. Nice and easy. And uh, that way we can get some XP on our shiny at the same time. And uh, oh god, he looks so good. I love this guy. He's so sick. He's just a little shiny trap inch. He's the best. And soon he's going to be a shiny from Barbara. He's going to be even better. Um, but the, the, the big jag, Mudkip, nah, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to, like, you know, help us knock off one Pokemon today. Because, unfortunately, the only Pokemon I can evolve to level up, which is Larvesta, who, by the way, also needs one of these. Um, isn't that right, you bad boy? Can you get on your Luxury Ball? Yep, too easy. Um, he is the only one I can evolve right now to get a Pokedex slot. Um, there are a couple others in my bank, like the Clink Clank, and there are a couple more. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there are some others in there that need to be evolved. Like, there's a couple starters, like the Sir Snivy. I keep, I was going to say Servine, but that's the next one. Um, yeah, so there's Snivy that needs to be leveled up. There's a couple others like that, but I want to try and focus, like I said, on trying to catch the ones that uh, are in the wild, get them off and dusted, and uh, on our way to getting more of the Pokedex done. But Mudkip, worst spawn ever. I swear to God, I spend... A decent amount of time in the Swampland biome, and all I find is just Marsh Tomps and the ones I don't even freaking need. Um, so that's that's how it goes normally for the most part, but we can get those earned, I keep saying earned, Orb Charges, and uh, we'll be well on our way to what we need to be anyway. So let's go for some Psychics, hopefully no glitches in battle this time. No, nah, we're good. Awesome, now it's finally fixed. Um, I got to see some new uh, concepts for the latest uh, battle GUI, which is going to be implemented in the latest update, and it looks awesome. Can't wait till that comes out. Um, nice little sneak peek. I don't have it for you there. I can't show any of you guys, but uh, it is looking fine, that's for sure. Um, Golduck, Psyducks, nothing that we want ever. Nothing. We don't get anything we want ever. It's the worst. Um, Mudkips, come on, bud. Oh, oh, those blue flowers. I honestly, I think I'm going to go through this place. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. We're going to remove every blue flower from this freaking place. Because every time they troll me with a mud, like, I think it's a mudkip. So, no, no. Blue orchids, I'm sick of it, alright? I'm just done with your games. I swear to God, we, uh, mudkip comes out better at night time. He never comes out during the day. And I feel like I know which one does come out during the day. And it would be the, uh... These guys, the, the Torchic line and this is Fana. So we're going to try them out for size. Maybe come back here in the night time. Because, yeah, I just don't find any of them in the morning. Um, but I seem to find all the other guys, which is weird. Um, now, I will find, obviously, Blaziken and Blaziken only. Um, I don't know why. It's just a thing. And I am swapping him back in for Moltres. Because, A, his moves suck. And, B, his, fling, his wings flap way too much. Just way too much. That it annoys me. It annoys me. 
Um, so yeah, oh, Scythe, damn it. I thought he was something special, but not anymore. Not anymore indeed. Alright, well, yeah, because I saw Blaziken in here a couple times. Obviously not the one I want. Um, and I'm not going to catch Blaziken just for a cheap uh, Pokedex entry. I just wanted to get the Mudkips and the Torchics. It's annoying because I can catch them physically. I got the Pokeballs, I got everything, but it's just finding them. And when they're ridiculous to find like this, it's just like the biggest demotivator ever. Um, that's another thing I was going to try and maybe go into the deep ocean and try and get some, uh, some cheeky stuff over there. I'm sick. Of this flying Articuno is giving me a headache, like literally. I'm either going to put him away or just, I don't even know what I'm going to do with him to be honest. Um, so I think for goals, we'll just go around, train up Trap Inch, and then we'll move straight over to Livesta after that. And, uh, just keep going with that and just training, I guess. Because these guys are being mad Jags. Mad Jags. <laughs> The maddest of Jags. Oh, actually, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, Flygon is going to be our latest and greatest. Um, yeah, I'm so down. He's going to be our flying Pokemon from now on. I'm so down for that. And Lucario is going to be like a cool Pokemon. It's going to be sick. I'm really excited for this. Hopefully, it can learn... Um, I wonder if Trap Inch can learn Thunder Wave. I think he can, but we've got to find the move for it. Just to get rid of Stunner because he's a flying Stunner. Um, but Stunner did get some decent levels over the last period so it's not too shocking anymore but i just want this shiny trap inch to evolve into his beautiful beautiful vibrava who has like nice little orange wings he's awesome gotta love me some vibrava but on the other hand Torchic and just hole in starters in general i'm so glad that i have the um that i have what's his name already uh trico and i've already evolved him up as well so that's even easier for me um <laughs> It just sucks Robert of Blobs lost his job. What the hell? I thought there were shrines for a second. I was like, what the hell? Oh, that would have been sick too because it would have been a Zapdos one. But uh, that's another thing we need to try and do is spend some of our coins on some shrine purchases. So we uh, will some structure purposes and try and get uh, the Static Souls one for a later period. But uh, for now, it's all about Trap Inch, I guess. And uh, let's try and get him to Vibrava. Oh, he's getting very close. He just needs one more. This could be it. Yeah, 48 Kangaskhan, this is going to be it. Here we go. Shiny Vibrava. I'm so excited for this one. What? Oh, it's 35. Oh, face palm. Such a face palm. All right, you can probably take this one, buddy. You got Rock Slide. Yeah, nice. Killing it. All right, you probably can take that one, but Tauros, what level are you? Oh, 45. Nice XP. I just love looking at it as XP. It's like, ooh, piece of candy. Um, then I think Flygon evolves at level 45. Uh, no, 55, sorry. So that's another one to look forward to. But uh, Trap Inch Cheeky. And now that I do remember, because I... What was it? I think, yeah, Dragonair evolves at 30. Because I remember back in the day, I had Dragonair and Vibrava slash Trap Inch on my team. And Trap Inch evolved at 35. and Because the gym cut off at 35 and 30. Um, I remember. And uh, so I couldn't go in... I couldn't evolve my Trap Inch. I could only go in with my, um, with, with my Dragonair and my Trap Inch, but I couldn't evolve him. Sorry, my bad. Getting a little mixed up there. Um, sort of failed taking out all those blue orcas. They seem to be spreading at a rapid rate, but you know when I see them, they go on. So let's just get like a stack of blue orchids going. I reckon that'd be funny, and we're actually gonna do it. It's a sad thing. Uh, let's put these seeds away. Oh, no, it's a slow bro. Oh, Gligar, what are you doing up? Oh, it is dusk now, isn't it? It is dusk time. So hopefully Mudkips come out at this time. We can get one starter off. That would be amazing. Be so thrilled to just get Mudkip off the list finally. Um, honestly, at this stage, I just want to know if these guys still spawn here. I'll take any of you guys. Um, let's go for Dig, actually. I think we just got poisoned as well, which sucks. Um, Faint Attack. Uh, do I have any potions for him? I don't. Oh, look, we did it for the vine. We did it for the vines. We did it for the vines. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? People that don't follow me on Twitter probably don't get that reference, but um, <laughs> just do it for the vine. Um, is Polywell over here? Why can't we find what we want ever? Like, it's just such a... Uh, Magby! The hunt for Magby was so real, and then when we found him, it was just the best. You know, I just couldn't even comprehend, comprehend finding that guy. But in other news, Trap Inch is level 35 and he is on his way in his little cocoon. He's evolving. He's going to grow some wings. He's going to bust out of that green shiny shell. And he's going to have some nice little special orange wings for us. And I'm very, very excited. Um, do I actually catch the fly? I think I've already caught the flag online. But look at this. And bang. Look at those orange rings. 
and he learns Dragon Breath, so we'll get rid of Mud Slap. Wow, look at him. He's such a cool Pokemon. He looks awesome in his little thing over there as well. My Brava. And uh, that's the, his wings are normally green, but now they're orange when he's shiny, and he has a orange eye instead of a green eye. He's really, really sick, and you guys are like, oh my god, it's just like one eye, but it's like, guys, come on, he's really cool. He's really, really cool. Um, shame we can't fly him yet. we will take a while so we can fly the Flygon, but until then, we've got some time to just chill out and uh, let's play. He's still over there. Get out of there, my brother. Imagine if I saw a shiny boy brother. I always used to say, what happens if I find a shiny trap inch? Because he was always my favorite, like, Pokemon trap inch. He was just, ugh. I can't, I'm just so happy we found a shiny one of him. It's just the best. Um, uh, Gloom. That's a different Pokemon that's starting to throw in a little mix of a little Mudkip mix. Um, Skoropi. Yep. So we've got the nighttime Pokemon coming out now. Um, whether or not what I'm trying to look for I got to check rates or something. He just doesn't seem to want to spawn any percent of the time, which is like really depressing. Um, all right, let's another. There's a lot of training over here to do though. So, Vibrava is going in. Yeah, he is. All right, Psychic. Then there's a Golbat over here. Oh, he's not that high level at all, but free XP for us, so I will not complain. Um, and then there was the Parasect. Parasect. Doo -doo 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 -doo. In you go. And uh, a lot of people were messaging me on Twitter and the comments about the Pokemon Snap, which I talked about in a, uh, I don't know if it was Crazy Craft or if it was a Pixelmon that I did. I think it was a Pixelmon. I want to say it was a Pixelmon, but uh, I don't know. Let's see. We might uh, have one of those in the future. I'm thinking maybe a possible third upload. I just love, like, I don't know if you guys missed that video, but I just love me some, uh, some Pokemon Snap. It's the best game ever. And uh, we'll see. I don't know. I might do like a, a cheeky series with it, maybe like with some face cam or something. But, uh, yeah, if you guys would love to show... Yeah, let me know in the comments and, like, uh, I don't know. If you guys would show support on that, because it's up to you guys what you want to see. But, I mean, I don't know. It's not Minecraft, but, oh, my God, I would love to do it. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, getting some decent levels up in here. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing too important of the mud kit. We might have to stream these last couple of ones, I think, and they're just being too insane. Uh, especially that root fossil, jeez, the uh, claw fossil, sorry. Um, sorry, I hit my mic a couple times then. My apologies. It's very, very high for some reason, um, which I don't understand why. We just killed ourselves to go to bed because A, I need to heal, and B, I hate nighttime. So, two birds with one stone. For the most part, it looks like it's just about all leveling up at this stage because we can't re leveling up in the swampland biome because we need, to, of course, try and chance that uh, spawn. Um, I'm getting rid of Articuno. He is just giving me the treatment. I am not liking him right now. He doesn't have good moves. His flying animation is very, very annoying. We're putting him away. Why does it do that whenever I throw a Pokemon? Why am I stuck? What, like, why am I stuck? Do I have to kill myself again? I'll do it. I just did it. <laughs> I just did it. Um, yeah, for some reason when I throw out a Pokemon, it seems to glitch for some reason. I'm not sure if that's me doing the 1710 switcheroo would not suggest at all doing that, by the way. I was such an idiot. Uh, messed up so many things. Just, ugh, so salty. Three mocks at once. This will be some good XP for sure on Bayraba. Heck, we might even get Flygon out of him today. I doubt it, but we'll see. If we grind it out enough, we should be pretty good. Um, but it's a new shiny that uh, we all get to see. If you haven't seen a shiny Flygon, then you're in for a treat. Because shiny Flygon is awesome. One of my best shinies, I reckon, in the mod so far. Um, but he is going ham, jabroni on these guys, aren't you, Bravo? You're already level 39? Jesus. All right, and there's another muck over here thinks he's getting away, but he's not because Mewtwo's here who is just actually got a level, I think, level 85 now. Yeah, boy, getting them gains. Um, that's a Grimer. We don't want to touch him. He is icky, icky. What is that? It's a Hypno. I thought it was like a... I'll take a shiny Mudkip. I will take one. It will pay off for all the bad spawns we've had so far <laughs> so many bad spawns it's just like i don't know them it seems like the, the the starter ones like the magbees and the all the like legit starters like charmander and that except charmander charmander is so common in the extreme hills by him it's not even funny i've gone past like 500 of them and then you got things like mudkip and torchic you just don't find in a blue moon like oh and turtwig was a little easy um probably not too easy he was actually pretty hard at the end of it um uh, I meant to go buy some steak, but I just don't want to like spend the whole episode in the swamp land biome just not find anything. It just sucks when you don't 
like come out with a mud kit but like i don't know you guys gotta send me some suggestions on how to find things because like just with things like this it's just like i mean i, I could easily sit here and just <laughs> troll around the swamp land by him until i find something but maybe i should do what i did with riolu um and just uh cut to when i find him because something like this it's just he just doesn't want to spawn ever He's, he wants to be exclusives he wants to be exclusive um, so I'll have to check when Flygon evolves because we actually might get Vibrava up very quickly. He's gone from 23 to 40 already. Um, we need to kill ourselves, by the way. Just letting you all know because we are playing 1.7.10 and Hunger goes out ultra mega quick. We need to buy some steak from the store. So we will buy some of that up right now and uh, good to go. But that saturation is better than the other default ones. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um... Let's just check one more time, one more fly through. Yeah, see what I mean? Mortress is just like wings don't get up too much in the way, so it's not as bad. Still not great, but not as bad. Um, so yeah, I know these guys spawn during the day and night is what I've heard. Um, just like Charmeleon and Charmander. I know they spawn during the day, but I still see that swamp put near dusk though, so that's a little... Whoa, when did that hole get there? How have I missed this hole? The whole time I've missed this hole. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's diamonds in there as well. Wow. How have I missed this? What the hell, man? What have I been doing? Oh, okay. We're going to get out of here. We'll come back for the diamonds later, but Jesus. Oh, you're going to get knocked off every time, aren't you, buddy? Ugh. Moltres, sometimes you're an issue, but for the most part, you saved me, so I don't mind. Um, all right. Back onto that swamp land grind, I guess. I mean, oh, the blue orchids. Ugh. These things right here. The mudkip trolls of 2014. Alright, 2k14. Big troll. Alright, I'm getting rid of him. None of this. Absolutely none of it. I'm just... I wonder how many blue orchids I could rack up just at the end of this, just by knocking them all down. Alright, let's just go on a serious blue orchid hunt. So that, that, that when I know I see a little blue thing, even though Golduck's pretty close to Mudkip color, but he's big, so it's like, it, you know, it's not too hard to tell the difference. Um... Which, by the way, you're gonna give us some of that cheeky XP. Oh, I said I was gonna go straight into Larvester after. My bad. I do apologize. I said I was going to swap over this guy because he needs XP because we want to get him. He, he's not he's not a permanent mender. Oh, wow. That's so, like, convenient, man. Sick. Sick. I <laughs> just love it when it does those ones. Maybe it'll reward us with a mudkip. That would be great if it could reward us with a mudkip, maybe. No, just some more blue orchids that are going to get chopped down. Yep, that's pretty much the consensus of, like, every episode. Eevee. i got to find out what Eevee is. I keep... Not finding out where he is, it's actually starting to annoy me. We gotta check up Eevee, because he's when we gotta start. But it's it's so hard because I'm one of those people that when I have a, a goal or, or a part of a mission, like I start from top to bottom and I don't like go anywhere. Like at the moment, Mudkip's next on the list. I don't want to go anywhere but Mudkip right now. I just want to sit there and get Mudkip. Like you know what I mean? Like once I've done and set a task for it, I want it and I won't go divert and do something else because I feel like I'm just like at the end of the day I still gotta find a mud kip somewhere so it's like ah this really like pains me because I just want to get the mud kip and I just want to have a good family with us and you know it's just like not happening at the same time uh wait what's that I saw something sparkle in one direction I think that was it over there what is that I think I saw something it could have been that weeping bell I think it was that weeping bell I don't know I just saw something Hmm, I thought it was something different than a Weeping Bell. It was a lot greener. That Diversion's going ham, though, i got to say. All right, I think we'll leave these guys alone. They're having a big fight. And I uh, don't want to get too involved over there. Two Shinxes. Two very close. That is a big troll as well. Shinx. Jesus. Sphinx, sorry. I believe it's Sphinx. Oh, Typhlosion. Come on, man. Is that Cyndaquil, Typhlosion? Come on, man. Hit me with a Torchic, please. Combustion, No! Why? Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? You're the freaking worst. I, I almost want to catch him just so I can say, look, progress. But Jesus. Like, seriously, man. That's the worst. If that was a Torchic, I would have been so happy. I would have been like, yes. When does Nido Queen spawn in the biomes since a squirtle they want to give me every starter apart from the one i want they just want to do that and nothing else please if i get a blaziker or another combustion i'm gonna cry i i think the hardest part about catching these guys is how small they are torchic and all that very very small um 
This is a nice place to hang out, actually. Lots of tanglers, which is a little weird, to be honest. Um, okay, moving back into this biome, because this guy, this biome seems to be going off with pretty cool Pokemon. Not gonna lie, Nita Queen's pretty, pretty cool. Must be a rare spawn, though, um, I would have to think. But, jeez, man, that Kamboskin just made my head roll when I saw that. I was just like, no, not a Kamboskin, just no. Uh, like, I'm looking for a torture. I, I swear to God, if I go over to the Swamp Land biome and I see a Marsh Tomp on the way out, like, that's just, that's just where I pulled the line, you know what I mean? That's just the worst. Oh, my God. All right, we'll go through Savannah one more time, Swamp Land one more time, and then I think we're going to wrap this episode up. I mean, we got our little sexy-looking Vibrava, but... Nothing too much on the Pokedex side of the thing, that's for sure. Um, which is very, very depressing. I hate going for those last ones. It's like, ugh. When I started this series, it was like, yeah, catching 10 Pokemon an episode, hashtag progress. And now it's just like, yeah, sick, eh? Like, just chilling here. But I mean, like, I could wipe out a couple Pokemon, but I just want to get this freaking Mudkip and the freaking Torchic. I just want these guys on the team. Just have them there. Just tell them to sit down. And just let me worry about things, but they won't. Um, they just want to take everything into their own hands and, you know, be jags and stuff like that. And, you know, it's not that great. And I'm wondering if it had something to do with the time of day of why. I think we're going into dusk right now, so they're not really spawning, I would think. Yeah, because Scythers have just started to come out. Um, maybe let's just quickly, quickly check and see if uh, Mudkip's a sort of dusk spawn. Because that's when we sort of had that last one. Uh, that Swampert. We had a Swampert at around dusk. As many a Swampert at dusk. So let's just go through one last time. I do realize this might be a little bit of a long episode, but uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy the long ones. So, of course, Blue Orchids. I didn't get these ones. I don't want to get them now because I want to go for my last little attempt. Alright, here we go. High in the sky. Come on, baby. Spawn me a Mudkip and I will love you forever. Here we go. Last one. Blue Orchids, Blue Orchids, Blue Orchids. I missed a lot of these, but I still got a lot at the same time, so I can't even be mad. Weezing's coming out because it's dusk. This is official dusk time zone. And it looks like we're just walking away with a Vibrava today. Yep, that's it, boys. That's it. Everybody, proceed to QQ. QQ Kachu, a whole episode looking for a Mudkip. Didn't even find any of his line. Found a Combuskin, which was just a slap in the face. But, uh, yeah, guys, I think we're going to wrap this episode up right there. I hope you did enjoy this awesome episode of Pixelmon Gotta Catch Em All with our new sexy starter. Made some progress on him, not so much on the Pokedex, which is the main point. But, hey, I mean, it's all about the luck, and the luck just wasn't in our hands today. But, of course, if you did enjoy the episode, be sure to leave a like, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. See you guys then.